So, this is your Volkswagen Golf SE Nav. Not only technologically advanced, it's both iconic and charismatic. With 16-inch Linus alloy wheels and a wide choice of efficient petrol and diesel engines and gearboxes to suit you. Well done, you've made the right choice whichever model you have. So, let's get you set up. First up, keys. You can open or close the car by clicking the lock or unlock buttons here. Press once to lock the car completely or twice just to lock the outside and activate safe lock if you've got passengers. Or manually using your key. If you've left your windows or sunroof open, if you have one, hold down the lock button to activate convenience mode. Central locking can also be operated inside the car. OK, next up, fluids. First, you'll need to open the bonnet by pulling the lever in the driver's footwell. Make sure you're on a level surface and the engine is cool before refilling any fluids. Next, lift the bonnet lever and open. Easy. You should regularly check your engine oil is in the lower section of your dipstick and your coolant level is between the markers on the side of the reservoir. Dirty windows? Then top up screen washer fluid here. To close the bonnet, simply drop it from a height of 30 centimetres. When you need to refuel your SE nav, simply press the tank flap button inwards, unscrew cap and place it here. Restless kids? To set your child locks, turn in the direction of the arrow in your rear doors. Fitting Isofix child seats is simple. Pull off any caps and push in, making sure it clicks into place. The boot opens automatically when you push this button, or you can open it by pressing the top of the Volkswagen badge. And in your boot with variable floor, you'll find your Get Me Home wheel, including wheel nut locking key. OK, that's covered the basics, now on to the really clever stuff. Inside, the latest advanced technology is at your fingertips with a leather multifunction steering wheel, Discover Navigation and App Connect. Sitting comfortably? Well, let's adjust your seat position by pulling up the lever under your seat and pushing back or forwards. Backrest and seat cushion height and tilt like so. And the lumbar support is adjusted here. Car a little cold? Climatronic two-zone air conditioning will have that sorted in no time. Simply turn the dial to alter your individual temperatures or press sync to transfer to your passenger. The menu button opens more settings within your 8-inch Discover Navigation infotainment system. Not only that, but it also allows you to access a bunch of smart stuff that will help you get around more easily. Like Carnet Guide and Inform. Check fuel prices, news and weather. And with Destination Import, you can import points of interest into your navigation system even before the journey begins. App Connect puts your smartphone at your fingertips so that you're always in touch. Just press and hold the voice button to speak to Siri with Apple CarPlay or Google with Android Auto to send texts or have them read out to you. You can also adjust or view your car's vehicle settings. For instance, the ambient lighting. There we go. Got it. Perfect. So where are we heading to? Work? The beach? That's no problem either way with Discover Navigation. Let's give it a go. Press the navigation button on your touchscreen and enter a destination. Great, but before we get going, with a few more basics to cover first, like engaging gear. Yes, I know that's simple with a manual, and if you've driven an automatic, you're probably familiar with some of this, but you might need a little extra help with your clever Tiptronic DSG gearbox if you have one. First, engage gear by pulling back to D. Push to the left to engage manual gear mode. You can go up or down gears by gently pushing plus or minus. Push right to return to normal auto mode. Pull back for S, your sports mode, and back again to return to normal auto. Your instrument cluster has all the usual dials you would normally expect, and also a digital display with radio, navigation, and key driving info, such as the speed limit display. 
Your multifunction steering wheel puts your car's key functions at your fingertips. Cycle through menus like this. Explore sub-menus by pressing up or down and OK to select. You can also control your music, answer calls and set your driver assistant systems. Like adaptive cruise control, which keeps you at a safe distance from other vehicles, especially in start-stop traffic. Is it me or is it getting dark out there? Where are those lights? Great, let's leave them set on auto, as that will cover us for most cases. Rear fog light can also be turned on here. Automatic rain-sensitive windscreen wipers are also standard, but you might need to activate them centrally via the infotainment. With front and rear parking sensors and intelligent driver assistance systems like front assist with adaptive cruise control or city emergency braking with pedestrian monitoring helping you manage critical situations, driving has never been safer. OK, I think we're just about set to get on the road. Ready? Three, two, one. Did I mention it's got an automatic electric handbrake? Well, that's lucky. It's going to take a little time to get familiar with all of the advanced technology in your SE nav, but hopefully we've covered the important stuff. Enjoy the ride. The Volkswagen Golf SE nav, packed with safety, style and technology.